Boom. <laughs> What's very buddy? You're watching the beast. And this is Primal Rage. Well, people, we got a crazy, crazy video for you today. That's right. We're going to be talking about Master of the Universe Revelations. There is a review of uh, episode one. And uh, I think it's going to be uh, something that we've already predicted. Um, with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't miss any more reviews. You know, I tell it like it is and I don't give a shit. I tell it like it is. Now, a lot of little lefty snowflakes out there, they don't like that. They don't like when the beast uh, is brutally honest, but that's fucking life. Life is fucking brutal and so am I. So, we got this uh, article. A review, uh, actually, by IGN.com. And uh, let's get into it. Let's see what the hell's going on. Masters of the Universe, uh, Revelation Part 1 Review by the Power of Netflix. We will see about that. So we know uh, Kevin Smith has been uh, frontlining this right from the start. He's been flip-flopping back and forth like Dr. Fauci on COVID. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, this is uh, going to be about uh, the, the journey of Tila. And this, it's not about Tila. He-Man's still the main guy. Yeah. Uh, Tila doesn't look like a man. Oh, uh, Tila, we, we switched Tila up. He backed and forth so much on his shit. Incredible. And just for the record, like I said, the problem I have with this, it's not the animation. Shit, it's not even uh, the toys that's coming out. They look amazing. Of course, I don't think those uh, those Tila figures are going to be flying off the shelves anytime soon. But uh, it says a sequel to Filmation's classic cartoon, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, revelation from He-Man super fan Kevin Smith is a bona fide blast. Okay, first off, you're no fucking fan when you turn Tila into a man, and that rhymes. That, that that rhymes. You don't do shit to Masters of the Universe like this and call yourself a fan, Kevin Smith. Oh, God. It says, develop uh, and design to be a follow-up like Minded Eternia stands. This new series might not play the same for those with little knowledge of the original. But with those familiar with these characters... And the old action figures and play sets, Masters of the Universe Revelation uh, superbly uh, spins the story on its head and approaches the lore in a fun and satisfying modern way. Notice how they're wording this. Like you're not getting the same Master of the Universe. And that's what, that's, that's what the fans want. You're getting it in a whole new way. And people... We got Star Wars in a whole new way. How'd that work out? 2016, we got Ghostbusters in a whole new way. How'd that work out? What about Star Trek? Uh, Discovery? We got Star Trek in a whole new way. We've been down this road so many times. Uh, even expanding parts uh, that weren't previously explained. It says, which 80s cartoon should get a new reboot? None. Next question. Says, Revelation is chock full of twists, turns, and bold new takes. Yeah. One of the bold new takes is, Teal is going to be in the front runner of this show, and not He-Man. One of the bold new takes is that they race change Andra and, uh, and King Grayskull. Now they're black. Uh, another big change, bold cha new change, if you will, is now they made Tila look like a fucking boy. A boy woman. Oh, they are going to pay for this shit. When it, when it's, it's, it's not going to hit well with the fans. It says, uh, Bold new takes on a few of the characters. But it also uh, makes a point to honor the past. Not really. When you're doing fucked up shit like, uh, retconning uh, past characters just for the sake of diversity and pandering to uh, 
non-white uh, or non-male, then no, it's not going to honor the past. The past made good stuff for kids, good stuff for everybody, uh, for entertainment purposes, not political. These are political activists making this stuff, not fans. And not super fans, right, Kevin Smith? Uh, it says, this is definitely more adult-oriented spotlight for He-Man and company. But it's not full tilt rated R like Amazon's Invincible. Or maybe uh, maybe not as adult like uh, like Netflix's lightweight child bronze uh, cuties. Right, Netflix? Oh, uh, you think we forgot about that one. This is still solid family-friendly adventure. Wrong. Whenever you politicize anything, it's no longer family or child-friendly. It's just garbage. But it shows characters dealing with more serious problems and making harder choices. Like, uh, like, do you think, do you think since I'm, uh, Tila, do you think, uh, this man haircut, I should go for more with facial hair, take hormone blockers? I, I want to talk about my feelings. Ain't no man better than me. Oh, shit. <sighs> The first episode, The Power of Grayskull, drops fans into an ongoing battle in good and evil between uh, He-Man and Skeletor. As with the trailer, like I mentioned before, it looked like uh, they took one of the major battle scenes in the, first tra uh, in the first episode and then cut out and edited all the good stuff for that to sell you it. But they're not fooling us, people. They're not fooling us. The first episode, Power of Grayskull, okay, between, it says that served as a spine for the entire original series. Then after making sure the original recipe formula was being honored and acknowledged, it blows everything up quite spectacularly. It's like, it's like, uh, like the Wizard of Oz. You know, you think you're getting the Wizard of Oz, you think Oz is this big, great, powerful and then, when Dorothy lifts up the curtain, it blows the lid off of it. Just some old crippled fuck Joe Biden behind pushing buttons and switches. It said, make, okay. Uh, what then follows is an exciting and grittily rewarding journey that makes new and wonderful use of the ensemble. People, this is what I want you to pay attention to. There it is. Basically, this is Teela's show. That's the review right there. You don't need to talk about anything else. That's the review. I mean, am I reading it wrong? I mean, what the fuck do you take from that? Basically, this is Teela's show. Oh, we got this. On top of it, Netflix uh, director uh, claims King Grayskull and Andra race swapped in Master of the Universe because new characters could be easily rejected. No, I'm pretty sure when you're race swapping characters and changing their fucking genders like Teela here, I'm pretty sure that's going to turn away uh, viewers as well. Or we got advertisements like this. He-Man footage leaks. Tila is man at arms. Well, shit. She's going to take over He-Man. She's going to be the new man at arms. Shit. She's going to be the bestest ever. <sighs> and yes, this guy, this He-Man guy with the red eyes, that's Faker. So with her new man chop, she gets to fight He-Man. And of course, you know she's going to kill Faker. <sighs> Thank you, Kevin Smith. You know, you look back at Kevin Smith. Like 20, like 20 years ago. This is what Kevin Smith used to look like. But then, we look at him in 2021. What the fuck happened to that guy? What happened, Kevin? Sucked in all that fucking adrenochrome, huh? Sucked the life force out of those babies, huh? I mean, holy shit. And then you look at The Rock, 2010. Handsome, stocky, buff rock. Then you look at The Rock in 2021, what the fuck happened to that guy? 
What happened to him? Look at him. People, take note. This is what Hollywood does to you. This is what Hollywood does to you. This is what fucking Hollywood... That don't even look like The Rock. That looks like they let the air out of his fucking face. Look at that. And he's got tits. He don't have pecs anymore. He's got tits. You, you got tits, Rock. You got tits. Look at this guy. That is not Dwayne Johnson, man. That is not fucking Kevin Smith. Look at that. Fucking hell. I mean, this is Kevin Smith. This is Kevin. Look. Look. That is not Kevin Smith. That is not Kevin. This is Kevin Smith. This is The Rock. Who the fuck is that? That's what happens when you're on the left. That's what liberalism does. That's when you suck in on those communist death sticks. That's what happens. That's what happens. And this... This is what happened to He-Man. Now... We're not surprised. We all, we all saw it coming. And Kevin Smith tried to grift us. But he wasn't fooling anybody. You know, I was just like, I'm an old man. I complain about cartoons. No, I'm a fucking He-Man fan. That's what I am. You know, you're not complaining. You're going to defend a guy who's 50-some years old making these cartoons. But you're going to complain or somebody that wants these cartoons to stay the way they were. You can tell a lot of interesting stories. But uh, there ain't nothing interesting here. We saw this coming. Kevin Smith tried to deny it at first. Flip-flopped around like Fauci. And then boom. That is, that is Hollywood today, people. These are not the people that we remember they all took the blue pill no more clerks no more mall rats no more good movies no more WWE wrestling no more can you smell what the rock is cooking oh we smell what the rock is cooking and that is communism and that is communism Kevin Smith jumping on that woke train there's a price to pay for evil, and that is your soul. And that is what happened to Kevin Smith paid that price, his soul. Look at Dwayne. That ain't The Rock, man. And this ain't no real Master of the Universe show. The animation might be awesome, but the rest of this show, the Teela show, is one big shit show. Anyway, people, uh, that's the video. If you like uh, if you like these videos want to be kept up on the on current pop culture and the state of everything, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you pass this video around. Get more people uh, to Primal Rage and uh, more fun times ahead. We're going to crack this sucker wide open. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Anyway, be safe out there. Get your rage on. Woo!